good lighting. Hello, good lighting. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you are tuning in, welcome and happy 2020. So if you haven't already read the description or title, this is about my Daniel Fast experience, yes. So this is actually the third year I am taking part in prayer and fasting with my church community. And obviously I decided to commit to the Daniel Fast again. Yeah, I'm kinda like, you know, like an experienced um, Daniel Fast person. So I'm gonna give y'all some tips. Okay, so listen up. So this time around with the Daniel Fast, I'm realizing that it, it has a lot to do with my mental discipline. Okay, so um, the first tip to helping you with your Daniel Fast is dedicating time with God first. Okay, so that's why point number one. So dedicating time to God first. And what that has been looking like for me is spending time in the morning um, before I do anything else, before I even roll out of bed or eat a meal or breathe. I am in prayer, I am in devotional, I am in worship, um, and I have dedicated and committed to time also to waking up in the morning to attend our uh, community prayer sessions at 6 a.m. So that means I'm up at like five, huh, in Canada, okay? So it's cold. I'm doing it for the name of Jesus. Do it for the name of Jesus. I'm taking the time in the morning to um, align with God really sets you up for your day to help you be a lot more mindful, a lot more focused, um, to, to make better and sound decisions for the remainder of your day really helps you, okay? It keeps you mindful to, to temptations and distractions. Um, so aligning yourself with God in the morning and dedicating that time helps you to keep the spirit there, um, keeps it present, and you know, hopefully the spirit discerns over those situations where you're having a tough time. Number two, what has been helpful for me is removing distractions completely. So, the, for me, taking time away from social media, especially Instagram, has been so helpful for me because now I have brought back so much time in my life because I was spending hours on my little phone and just scrolling and liking and scrolling and liking and DMing. And it was taking a lot of time um, for my devotional and time with God, ultimately. And so taking time away from social media has helped me to like refocus. And um, also, it's helped to probably take out the junk food and all the temptations from your fridge right before you do a fast. So for me, took out all, I ate all my chocolates and my cookies beforehand. Taking away those junk foods and, th and foods that are around your house that are going to be tempting to you with your Daniel fast, you know, just dash it. Just dash it. It might hurt a little, but just dash it. It'll be worth it. And I know this is going to sound a little brass, but I took time away from friends and people, specific people. So I needed to do this because I realized I was putting um, certain people above God. I needed to just take time to evaluate those relationships and friendships um, before I continue my 2020. So for me, that has brought me so much peace and it's given me... Um, it's really helped me to evaluate those friendships and relationships. And oh, on top of that, um, just saying no to things that you don't need to, like extra things. Like I'm a person that likes to brunch and lunch every other week or go on coffee dates. So I've been saying like a huge no to people, like sorry sis, like I will catch up with you post prayer and fasting because one, your girl needs to save money. And two, um, I can't be eating anything on the menu anyways. So like I'm gonna just sit there and watch you and drink water. So I've been saying no to the extra fluff and extra activities to just take time with God and like focus on God and things I need to and actually prioritize oh prioritize so taking a time away from distractions removing removing distractions and saying no to the extra fluff yeah number three for me is also creating a schedule <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough how important it is like if you or an organizing freak like me who has an agenda. Look at it, guys. It's so cute because I have my initials on it. 
<laughs> creating a schedule and putting down every day what your day is gonna look like helps you in advance to know what to expect um, so for me it helps me to understand when I'm going to bed what time I need to wake up um, when I need to wake my son up so then he can go to school and drop him off when I need to be at work if I don't need to be at work um, when I'm gonna be meal prepping if I need to be meal prepping what I gotta pack and it really helps me to keep and to uh, strategize what my day and my week is going to look like so I can prioritize what's important and take away the things that are not important and just like reschedule my life for a little later. Hmm. Um, a scheduling is super helpful. Get you one, get you an agenda, you know, or put it on your phone because if you're trying to save money, just put it on your phone. I do both. <laughs> Number four, for me, having quick go-to meals has been a game changer. I call these the drop in the pot recipes and I'm gonna put them in the description below because I'd be out here making my, the same two, three dishes and it has saved my life. It has saved my life. So I'm gonna put them in the description box as a gift. So you're welcome. You have been blessed these easy recipes that can be whipped up in like uh 10 to 20 minutes has been such a game changer for me not only are they quick and easy but they are delicious and nutritious <laughs> having those really good recipes that go to recipes that you can go back and forth to will help you you don't need to be out here like making fancy stuff like as i was doing last year and it exhausted me so i just have my one two um recipes and i also have my snacks just to in case of cravings like I I always have like you know my bag of cashews available to me an apple and a banana um, I also make smoothies sometimes so then um, if I'm gonna I know if I'm gonna have cravings I just down a green smoothie real quick you know but make sure that there's no like um, sweeteners in it just reminder and make sure you guys are making things that you actually like to eat cut you know stuff that may be seasoned i know some people just go straight to like steaming vegetables and stuff and keeping it boring but that's not going to sustain you for 21 days sis. you're going to give into cravings so set yourself up for success by making something that you actually like to eat yeah anyways i'm going on this tangent i realize how important these tips are um to carry throughout your life not just a 21 day plan fasting taking away all the fluff and all the preservatives um from my food list and what i can consume has made me realize how much junk we put in our bodies make sure you guys are evaluating that and carry these good disciplines and habits after the fast hmm and anyways, the last one, I would say have fun. Yo, have fun. We out here celebrating Jesus, okay? This time is for him and him alone. So have fun. Like this time around, I am doing devotionals with friends on the Bible app because it's fun like that. And we get to like see each other's comments and be like, huh, that was a good point. And I have group conversations where my girls and I are sharing our meals and recipes super helpful super encouraging keeps it light and fun and also um my girls and i because there's a couple of us in our church community who are doing the prayer and fasting the daniel prayer and fasting um we decided to have a dinner together daniel fast dinner so it keeps it fun it keeps it interactive being community you are no i'm fine okay fine <laughs> Oh, Father God, I just want to thank you so much, God. Thank you, Lord, for today, God. Thank you for the strength to endure these last few weeks, God. I'm grateful, Lord, that we have we have agreement, God. We're able to stand together, God. We're able to support each other during a fast. Amen. Okay. <laughs> dinner with my boo boo, Daniel fast dinner. So today, oh, what do we have? What do we get no, he's not gonna eat. Mm -hmm. So okay. he has sweet potato, quinoa with sweet potato. Mm -hmm. We got my chickpeas, mm -hmm. and then we got some mm -hmm. kale salad, some wholesome goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yas, oh yas. Pal piso, pal piso. Okay, here we go. Pass the salad. Yes, I love the salad. Yeah. Salad. Yeah. Love Girl. it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, anyways, guys, this video has been long enough. I hope these tips were helpful for you. And if they were, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and my witty um, character. Anyways, y'all, make sure you guys subscribe, um, drop a comment, drop a like, you know, hit that little heart, heart, and show your girl some love. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.